Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Friday, 24 April 2020, the week of Easter 2. I'm about to play a calendar game. Tomorrow, Saturday, is the festival of St. Mark. <coughs> Excuse me. And the readings for tomorrow will be for St. Mark. But the readings for Saturday of Easter 2 are just very yummy. And the ones for Friday, not so much. So I've identified this for Friday, and that's the truth. And the reading and the prayer are indeed from For All the Saints. It's just that they're for Saturday, but whatever. What I'm reading for today, and I have no idea how this is pronounced, E-I-V-I-N-D, Joseph, B-E-R-G-G-R-A-V, 1884-1959. Christ keeps us true to God even when we ourselves are beyond either love, prayer, or faith. During these decisive moments, he holds our soul in his hand. Subsequently, we see the truth in the words of the psalm, yes, out of your wounds sprang great wonders. They who have suffered most are witnesses for the rest. There is a deep movement within us in the direction of God, a deep-rooted conviction which is unshakable because it is given by God himself. The words, a little while, then describe our triumph over all suffering. Eternity has begun today. Here are the final words of the text your joy no man taketh from you, though they may take our life, property, honor, children, and wife, we still have God's kingdom. Are the words too strong? Yes, as declamation, but completely true as the humble profession of the heart. True, not by my own power, but by mercy. This joy no one shall take from us. It gives us freedom and strength and energy, even in affliction. A wonder that we possess this. Some people were gathered together in common suffering. Yes, in human hopelessness, said to each other, Now let us sing praise to the Lord the Almighty and they sang as they had never sung before. Then the words became true. A little while. A sermon, a little while, preached in 1944, about 18 months after the Nazi occupation of Norway. The closing prayer, James Martineau, 1805-1900. O source of life and strength, many of thy mercies do we plainly see, and we believe in a boundless store behind. No morning stars that sing together can have deeper call than we for grateful joy. Thou hast given us a life of high vocation, and thy own breathing in our hearts interprets for us its sacred opportunities. Thou hast cheered the way with many dear affections and glimpses of solemn beauty and everlasting truth. Not a cloud of sorrow, but thou hast touched with glory. Not a dusty atmosphere of care, but thy light shines through. And lest our spirit should fail before thy unattainable perfections, Thou hast set us in the train of thy saints who have learned to take up the cross 
of sacrifice. Let the time past suffice to have wrought our own will, and now make us consecrated to thine. Amen.